We're following some breaking news at this hour. Police are on the scene of a shooting reported in Tukwila. This is a live look at the scene right now along the 1100 block of Andover Park East. Did you know that parking lots, those unassuming spaces where we often park our cars without a second thought, can sometimes transform into scenes of unexpected horror? They're places where the mundane routines of everyday life collide with the unthinkable. One such tragic incident unfolded in a Costco parking lot in Tukwila, shattering the tranquility of a peaceful morning and leaving the community in shock and disbelief. In today's video, we'll explore the heart of this tragic narrative, searching for answers and understanding amid darkness. So, without further ado, let's get started. On a peaceful morning that promised the typical activity of a Costco parking lot, the Tukwila neighborhood was jolted by an unexpected tragedy. Yuan Ming, 67, died unexpectedly and violently. The situation moved quickly, with Taquila police responding in reports of shooting soon after 10.40 a.m. All you hear is just pop, 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 pop. Everybody was just running. We just heard a bunch of gun gunfire, and I tried to push the door open, and the door didn't open, and I got injured. The shooting happened inside the store. Inside, inside the, st the area. A seemingly regular parking lot in the 1100 block of Andover Park East became the focal point of a terrifying crime scene. Come along as we delve into the complexities of this horrific tragedy and offer a new perspective on the specifics of such unanticipated disasters, giving insights and analysis that go beyond the surface headlines. A fear felt by dozens of customers Friday night. It was like, bow, 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 bow. The Taquila police were confronted with the grim reality of a shooting incident within the confines of the Costco parking lot, disrupting the peace of the morning and leaving the community grappling with questions surrounding the cause of such a catastrophic event in what was typically considered a mundane location. This stampede of people coming towards us, so I told my wife, we gotta run, let's go. And we left a stroller and uh, my wife left her wallet and her... Um, Cell phone. I don't have my keys, I don't have my phone, I don't have anything. With the best efforts of medical staff members, the awful conclusion was unavoidable as the victim succumbed to her injuries, causing deep sadness and anguish. Eyewitnesses, still reeling from the traumatic events they just witnessed, described the turmoil that occurred in graphic detail, providing a bleak picture of the situation. During the commotion and fear, murmurs and rumors spread like wildfire, implying the participation of a suspect who fled the scene in a conspicuous white truck, leaving the neighborhood stunned and suspicious. Despite law enforcement's fast arrival at the location, their efforts to save the victim's life were eventually useless. In the aftermath of this terrible occurrence, doubts remained about the exact sequence of events that led to the victim's death and the identity of the attacker. Eyewitness testimony provided significant insight into the tumultuous circumstances surrounding the incident, assisting law enforcement officers in their quest for justice. What quick actions did authorities take, and how did eyewitnesses characterize the chaotic scene? Following the shooting, there were many doubts regarding the reason for the act. What inspired such a blatant act of violence in broad daylight? Speculations ran rampant, with community members grappling to make sense of the senseless tragedy. Questions abound about the motive behind the shooting, leaving the community searching for answers. What could have led to such a brazen act of violence in a public space like a Costco parking lot? The news of the tragic shooting echoed across Tequila, raising worries about public safety and security. Shoppers who had been unaware of the approaching catastrophe voiced shock and alarm when they realized they'd unintentionally stepped into a crime scene. How did shoppers react upon learning they'd walked into a crime scene? and what concerns were raised about safety. As the investigation into the incident developed, more information about the victim, Yuan Ming, 67, came to light. Despite this evolving story, one important aspect remained elusive, information on the perpetrator of the attack. This lack of clarification left the community with unresolved questions and ongoing worries. Despite new information providing light on the victim's identity and the circumstances surrounding the incident, the critical component of identifying and apprehending the culprit remained unsolved, creating a tangible sense of anxiety and uncertainty in the community. What problems does law enforcement confront in apprehending the culprit, and how is the community reacting to the continuing investigation? The lack of openness and communication from law enforcement has further exacerbated the community's already high level of fear and anxiety following the recent shooting event. Residents are greatly worried by what they see as authorities' unwillingness to fully address their concerns about public safety and security. 
Citizens are visibly concerned about the possibility of additional violence, which is exacerbated by a perceived lack of responsibility in how such incidents are handled. Following the incident, many have questioned police enforcement's competence and devotion to public safety. Citizens are growing outspoken about their discontent with the reaction thus far, calling for greater openness and responsibility from those in charge of preserving law and order. Furthermore, citizens are very concerned about the possibility of similar tragedies and the government's apparent incapacity to prevent them. The community is hoping for comfort and specific efforts from law enforcement to alleviate their anxieties and restore a sense of security in their everyday lives. How are citizens reacting to the apparent lack of responsibility in the aftermath of the shooting, and what are their worries about public safety? Despite the passing of three days since the sad tragedy, law enforcement officials have remained tight-lipped about important information, stoking resentment and concerns among people seeking closure and comfort. The community came together in solidarity and support for the victim and her mourning loved ones, encouraging law officials to speed up their attempts to catch the perpetrator. Frustration grows as law enforcement keeps silent on important issues, leaving locals seeking closure and reassurance. How is the community coming together in solidarity and support for the victim and her family, and what expectations are there for law enforcement to act quickly? As time passed, the community struggled to cope with the senseless loss of life and the lingering sense of vulnerability that pervaded their previously quiet neighborhood. Despite the challenges and uncertainties that lay ahead, the community's tenacity and togetherness remained unwavering as they pledged to stick together in the face of adversity. The community is dealing with the aftermath of the tragedy, promising to remain together in the face of hardship. How is the community coping with the senseless loss of life and the lingering sense of vulnerability, and what steps are being taken to create safer communities? Locals mourned the death of a beloved member of their community and sought answers in the aftermath of the terrible violence. They stayed resolute in their commitment to honor the victim's memory and worked towards making communities safer and more secure for everyone. Questions remain concerning the circumstances surrounding the shooting and the identity of the culprit, emphasizing the importance of sustained vigilance and collaboration between community members and law enforcement authorities. Residents are motivated to honor the victim's memory and seek to make their neighborhoods safer. How are locals attempting to make their neighborhoods safer, and what efforts are being made to avoid such tragedies in the future? As the inquiry into the sad tragedy progressed, the community remained hopeful that justice would be served and that steps would be put in place to avoid such horrific events from occurring again. Despite the ongoing investigations, questions remained about the nature of the shooting and the person responsible, emphasizing the crucial necessity for continual vigilance and constructive cooperation between community members and law enforcement authorities. Despite the gravity of the issue, the community remained united in its pursuit of openness, accountability, and real solutions to protect everyone's safety and well-being. This united commitment functioned as a light of resilience, directing efforts towards thorough knowledge, healing, and the quest for a future in which tragedies like this become a thing of the past. In the aftermath of the tragic shooting in the Costco parking lot in Tukwila, Washington, it becomes imperative to delve into the broader context of safety and security in public spaces, particularly parking facilities. The safety and security of public spaces, particularly parking lots and parking garages, are paramount concerns for both patrons and businesses alike. Despite their seemingly ordinary appearance, these spaces can often become hotspots for criminal activity, with more than 1 in 10 property crimes occurring within them, as reported by the Bureau of Justice Statistics. From auto theft to vandalism, the range of crimes that can occur in these areas is extensive and unpredictable. Criminals often target parking lots and garages due to their low levels of activity compared to the businesses they serve, providing ample opportunity for illicit behavior. The sprawling nature of these facilities, coupled with their typically limited visibility and accessibility, makes them particularly susceptible to criminal activity. In parking garages in particular, the enclosed and multi-level structures further exacerbate security challenges by reducing natural surveillance and creating hiding spots for potential perpetrators. To mitigate the risks associated with public spaces like parking lots and garages, it's essential to implement effective security measures that deter and prevent criminal activity. These measures can range from active security measures, such as CCTV surveillance and security patrols, to passive measures that incorporate the principles of crime prevention through environmental design. Crime prevention through environmental design concepts, including adequate lighting, natural surveillance, access control, signage, and natural territorial reinforcement play a crucial role in enhancing the security of parking facilities. 
adequate lighting not only deters criminal activity, but also contributes to other CPTED concepts and active security measures. Natural surveillance, which involves maximizing visibility both inside and outside of the facility, is key to deterring criminal behavior. Access control measures, such as controlling pedestrian and vehicle entry and exit points, help reduce opportunities for criminal activity. Signage and graphics are also important tools in enhancing security by guiding pedestrians, alerting them to surveillance measures and reinforcing boundaries between public and private areas. Natural territorial reinforcement, achieved through landscaping, signage and fencing, serves as a visual deterrent to potential intruders and helps establish clear boundaries. The tragic shooting in the Tukwila Costco parking lot serves as a sobering reminder of life's fragility and emphasizes the need for communal resilience in times of sorrow. As locals grapple with the profound loss of a beloved community member and seek understanding in the aftermath of this inexplicable act of violence, they remain steadfast in their commitment to preserving the victim's memory and working to create safer, more secure neighborhoods for all. This sad occurrence has created a collective resolve among neighbors to rally behind one another, instilling a spirit of solidarity and a desire to face obstacles together. As the community grieves and seeks consolation, it starts on a path of healing and regeneration, driven by a common vision of creating a society in which such senseless acts of violence are no longer tolerated. In honoring the victim's memory, the community reinforces its principles of compassion, solidarity and resilience, paving the path for a brighter and more optimistic future. As we complete our thought-provoking visit through the tragedy that transpired in the Tukwila Costco parking lot, please share your personal experiences or safety advice in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel to keep up with more interesting videos like this. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to having you with us in our future explorations.